Hi, I'm Kristen Graham, and I'll present Ego4D, a new data set for egocentric video. I'm excited to present this collaborative project between 84 authors from 14 institutions over the last two years. For decades, the research community has focused much effort on internet images and video, as we can see highlighted in these influential data sets. They are curated moments taken from the third person perspective, where we observe the world as a spectator. In contrast, first person or egocentric video taken from a wearable camera offers a very different experience. We are no longer a spectator, we are right in the action. It is uncurated long form content. And most importantly, the first person perspective offers insights into the camera wearer's goals, interactions with objects and people, and their attention. Why do we care about egocentric video? Well, first in robot learning, robots could learn from video how to manipulate and navigate in human centric spaces. Second, for augmented reality, smart glasses of the future could be aware of our visual context to better assist us. Previous first-person data sets inspire our work, yet they face certain limitations. The capture is usually indoors, often in a lab, with cameras worn by graduate student participants. For the largest available data set, Epic Kitchens, there is 100 total hours and dozens of total participants. To get a sense of scale, let's represent those two numbers using the width and height of a rectangle here in red. In fact, if we gather up all the prior Ego video data sets in this gray box, this is where the field is at. Now, our Ego 4D data set offers an order of magnitude jump in scale on both these dimensions. It contains 3,670 hours of in the wild daily life activity captured by 931 people around the world. In addition, the data set is multimodal. And alongside the data itself, we provide a set of benchmark tasks to catalyze research in this area. Just as important as Eagle 40's impressive scale is its diversity. We achieve geographic diversity through camera wearers recruited in nine different countries, including five US states. And these participants wearing cameras were not just graduate students. They range in age from 18 to 84 and come from a span of different backgrounds. For example, baristas, musicians, pharmacists, painters, landscapers, and many others. Here we show a series of short excerpts from the data set to highlight some of this variety. You can see there are fascinating glimpses of daily life activity around the world with all sorts of complex hand object interactions showing skilled activities and manipulation. There's video captured outdoors as well as indoors. We can see that there are all sorts of climates present in this video. We have video of people out and about, including in spaces running errands and social interactions with other people out or in the home and even with animals. Now a portion of the data has 3D Matterport scans of the surrounding environment to enable new research linking the 3D world to dynamic first person. Other portions have simultaneous cameras from multiple points of view, and some offers eyes gaze, eye gaze. All these are exciting for understanding social and human attention. All of video comes with dense natural language narration saying what the camera wearer is doing in a play-by-play -play manner. From the onset, Ego4D was collected with rigorous privacy and ethics policies, which included formal reviews at each institution, consent forms were relevant, and de-identification. Now, just as important as having the right data is to have the right research problems. The second main contribution of our work is a suite of five benchmark tasks that take us from the past, present, and future of a camera wearer's daily life experience. In the past, our episodic memory task entails asking questions about prior video, like where did I leave my wallet? In the present, we aim to understand hand object manipulations, as well as uh, the conversations and attention between people in social environments. Finally, moving to the future, we have a task for forecasting, which entails anticipating what the camera mirror might do next. Now we've annotated for all of these tasks, the result of more than 250,000 hours of annotated effort. We provide baseline models and results in the paper, and we're looking forward to other researchers building on them as they have in our first workshop competition this week. Finally, we believe Ego4D has relevance beyond vision, from audio processing to AR, language, speech, robotics, and we're excited to see what our fellow researchers will dream up to leverage this new massive open source resource. In that spirit, we invite you to participate in our upcoming Ego4D challenge that will host at ECCV this year. Thank you.